All right, guys, gonna do a quick reaction to this news story that I saw when this guy who was driving a Prius causes an accident and uh, then goes after the dude that he hit. <laughs> Just gonna call this beta males gone wild. And not only that, but the dude tried to sucker punch him and then he missed the sucker punch. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this video for you and we're gonna crack right into this. So let's go. There was a sucker punch. CBS Austin morning meteorologist Avery Tomasco still seems a little shaken up by the- Okay, here he comes. So immediately the, the, um, the way he was walking towards him, um, I think this guy, this guy's uh, Kind of like spidey senses came on and he realized the dude was gonna do something violent right and because usually you know in these situations you're not gonna just like charge up to the guy i mean this goes for anything right if a dude just starts charging towards you believe me you're in danger okay you're in danger and this is already assault by the way right if you uh because i have some lawyers who follow me and uh, or who are students of mine and they I didn't even know this they told me they're like the dude could just walk up to you you can feel threatened and that counts as assault he doesn't need to lay a hand on you did you know that I didn't know that till they told me this punch caught on dash cam video <laughs> what a loser man he missed the punch here we go again so he walks he just storms out of his little Prius his electric car here with his uh 1992 uh, Steven Seagal ponytail. Still seems a little shaken up by the. See, there he goes. He's already pissed, even though he caused the accident. This punch caught on dash cam. <laughs> he totally missed. Video this week. He said one sentence with an obscenity in there. Um, of course. You hit my blank car, and I replied, "No, you hit my car," and that's when. Here he goes. He swung with his entire force. Just moments. He swung and missed. Okay, so here's a clip of the accident. Moments before that. I'm Jaja. It was a normal afternoon. He was driving on Mopac at Step. Here comes his Prius over here on the right, guys. His he's got a turquoise Prius. <laughs> Any dude, I'm sorry, man. Any dude who drives a Prius, man, you know, got to get something else. The sudden there's a car coming into my lane i slam on the horn hit the brakes but it's unfortunately too late at that point okay in in fairness he did signal while he was going into his lane but you know what what even if you're signaling you gotta wait okay you gotta wait until that guy passes or you just speed up and get ahead of him but this dude just shoved himself in this dude's lane even then avery says he didn't think it was a big deal it's a, a, a minor collision at that point but the driver kept driving until Avery says he got his attention and they pulled into the shopping center at Capital of Texas Highway in 183. We pull into the shopping center as casual as anything possible. Um, we're using blinkers, we're going slowly. Avery didn't suspect anything at this point, but a spokesperson for AAA Texas says there's a good reason to be wary in these situations. Oh, here he comes. According to the AAA Foundation for Traffic <laughs> Safety, uh, this was done in 2019, uh, nearly 80% of drivers expressed significant anger, aggression, or road rage behind the wheel at least once uh, in the prior 30 days. Avery began to take pictures of the damage when the other driver is seen approaching him on video here he comes with again. his fists. That little bit <laughs> that he did wind up, I guess, was, a, was enough for my brain to realize you're in danger. Move your neck. Both men move out of frame and Avery is heard calling for help. That's when he says the other driver walked away. Exactly. If you are confronted, stay as calm and courteous as possible. And if you, uh, again, feel... I think at that point, the dude realized that, um, you know, he was in trouble. Because everyone has a dash cam these days. Threatens call 911. What AAA suggests you do. When police arrived, they took the report and a copy of the video. There is now a warrant out for the other man's arrest. As for Avery, he plans to press charges, and he says the Good. dash cam video will help him prove it. Video is everything. That there's there's no disputing video evidence, both with the crash and both with what he did to me after the fact. Yeah, and <laughs> here he is on the right after he missed his sucker punch. But, um... Yeah, I mean, this is all caught on dash cam. And I mean, I'm sure the guy is probably going to get a lawyer and probably argue that he didn't, 
you know, he's obviously going to say, oh, I was just trying to scare him, and, you know, I didn't hit him, I didn't lay hand on him. But, again, that's already assault, right? I mean, just a dude, uh, and this happens to me so often in venue, in venues, um, whether I accidentally hit on somebody's girlfriend, or even if they have no girlfriend there, and they're just pissed off that I'm picking up all the girls, uh, I've had dudes just walk up on me. Hey, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You know, I mean, and technically, that's already assault, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it just happens so often. It doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't bother to press charges or anything, but, uh, in these situations, uh, you know, obviously there's a, you know, a traffic stop. The dude caused the accident. <laughs> yeah, no, you, uh, you should definitely take action on dudes like this. I mean, it always shocks me that guys like this have lived, have managed to live this, lo this long and have not gotten killed yet. But uh, like most bullies, they pick their targets wisely. I'm sure if the you know if the driver or driver of the other car was like six three and jacked and uh, you know menacing looking, this dude would have been apologizing and not have tried to do a sucker punch on him. Right? I, yeah. It just goes to show like how I mean, obviously this dude feels entitled to do stuff like this. Why? Because you know, he's stuck in his feminine frame, right? I mean, that, really, that's where that, that anger comes from, too. I mean, obviously, he's, he caused the accident, and he's angry, right? So there's no accountability whatsoever. So this is why I say he's stuck in his feminine frame, because really, the only people who do that, you know, are, like, mostly chicks, right? It's mostly modern women, right? They, they do stuff like that, right? They'll, like, cause an accident and then act like they didn't do anything wrong, right? They'll just do stuff like that and then get mad at you, for just you know getting upset that they hit your car <sighs> yeah but this dude obviously is clearly the beta of the day beta gone wild and yeah I obviously he's realizing he's uh, he might be off his medication or something but this looks like the type of dude to try to like F with people who are smaller than him um, you know, dude is wearing all black. I, I don't know if he's thinks he's in a, a video game or a GTA or something like that. But clearly, uh, lack of self-control, lack of emotional control, all the things we talk about here on my channel. Um, dude is not icy and non-reactive. Dude is very reactive, very triggered, even though he's the one who caused the problem in the first place, right? He tried to get in the dude's lane and just shoved himself in there. So... Uh, yeah, dude is probably has probably already gotten arrested, and now his face is out there. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets fired as well, which he should. I wouldn't want somebody like this working for me and representing my company. Uh, and you know, and and the fact that he's a dude and he drives a Prius. So. <laughs> but I always say, man, it's always a freaking Prius. Like whenever. I, I make this running joke when I'm whenever I'm in the car with my girl and somebody does something retarded. Ninety percent of the time, it's somebody in a Prius. <laughs> Usually, it's a chicken Prius, but uh, this guy's not far off, right? He obviously is on his menstrual cycle, and he's very upset. He's very angry, angry at Mama, and uh, tried to attack this much smaller dude who's like a meteorologist or works from the for works for the news station or something like that and thinking he was Mr. Tough Guy and he can like just go in there and try to sucker punch <laughs> Look at this dude. He was like winding up. He even like winded up for the punch. The dude is just standing there. He's like super thin. Uh, Could have easily landed this. So um, yeah, maybe he should sell the Prius and take some boxing lessons because <laughs> dude is it clearly was just took his eye off the ball. <laughs> yeah. Very, very sad to watch. Uh, but hey, this is what happens out there, guys. I mean, when beta males attack, man, you, you just have to be ready for it, right? It happens to the best of us. You know, you could just be minding your own business, doing nothing, and some beta who hates his life, who's angry at his life, who whose life sucks, will just see you enjoying life and feel the need to piss on your day because... His life sucks, right? He wants to make your life suck because his life sucks. It's the most beta crap ever. And uh, again, it happens to all of us, right? Happens to all of us. Happens to me mostly in venues 
But um, I remember not even that long ago, I think I was like in Reno, Nevada of all places. Of course, it can happen in Reno. Um, it's just, it, me and my girl just decided to go there. We're unpacking like my car. I, I don't know if I told you guys. I bought a, uh, uh, a car for road trips. I bought a Pacifica, right? It's really a really nice car, right? But it's like a huge van. I could fit cash a stroller in there. Pulling the stroller out, putting my handicapped dog in the stroller, right? gizmo my tiny chihuahua right and some dude just like big dude jumps out of his car comes right up like 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 charging like almost like this dude did right and uh, immediately i put my arm out like because my girl was standing there and he was almost getting between my girl i put my arm out right and i was like can i help you and then he was all oh yeah nice dogs and i was like okay i mean already his tone of voice right and then he goes, oh, you tough cock shit, like that. And then he walks away and goes in the casino. I'm like, my girl was just like, what on earth was that, was that about? I go, clearly the dude is having his period. But as he was walking away, I was I was like, yeah, keep walking, pussy, right? And he didn't turn around. He was like, oh, I got my, got my two, two second dirty high. I showed him, oh, oh, tough guy. Oh, I got my dirty high. Right, but that's what they do. But because I teach self development, I know where and what these dudes are dealing with in their private life. These are the type of dudes like this guy right here. These are the guys that cry, right? They cry the most, right? They get all like all depressed. They can't control themselves. They have just such a lack of testosterone. Uh, but yet they think they're tough guys, right? But they're the biggest pussies on the planet. These guys are such beta pussies. It's insane. They can't deal with just normal everyday stuff that most people just deal with, right? Most people just, hey, there's an accident, whatever, big deal. Speaking of which, some dude did just hit my uh, Pacifica, uh, when was it? Uh, like a month ago, right? I was just driving along and I saw the dude in the uh, lane next to me. He had like an older car too. And uh, he was like reaching in his glove compartment. All of a sudden he swerved in my lane and <laughs> hit my car, right? There's like all this side damage. And uh, I I mean, we pulled over and the guy was kind of like worried that I was going to do this to him. The guy was worried like, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. And oh my gosh, you know, oh my God, look at this damage. And I was like, it's okay, man. Things like this happen, right? I, that's exactly was my reaction. I was like... That's oh, all right, man. It happens, you know. <laughs> I'm like, sure, I just got this car like a year ago, and it's uh, now you've just kind of like ruined the right side of it. But you know what? I'm like, that's what shops are for. I was like, all right, let's just trade insurance. Give me your insurance. And uh, it was simple as that. I got the car fixed. It looks like brand new, you know, and it's fine, right? It's fine. Uh, it Stuff like this happens in life. Nothing to react over. And the dude was, the dude who hit me was just so like shocked that, I didn't just wail on him or, you know, do anything like this to him or start berating him or like, oh, I saw you reach in your glove compartment. What are you doing? Keep your eyes on the road. You know, because we all are guilty of doing stuff like that, right? Sometimes I look at my phone, I'm driving. I shouldn't be doing that, right? Um, so I get it, right? And I just said, ah, oh, it's all right. I mean, and it was a Sunday too. I was just trying to get home. I wanted to go to sleep. I wanted to nap. I had a long day, but I still did not take it out on him. I just kind of laughed about it and I was like, you know, it's bound to happen, man. And I said, it's all right. Got your information. His insurance was a pain in the ass to deal with. I think it was like Mapfray. You ever heard of Mapfray? Um, yeah, his insurance was a, a, totally annoying to deal with. And um, yeah, it was such a pain in the ass. But uh, they ended up r giving me a check for like five Gs. So they gave me a check for five grand to fix my car. And they're like, here, go fix it on your own. And uh, fortunately, because I know a lot about cars, I have a lot of connections, you know, I have DeLorean, I have a Corvette, um, you know, and I just, I know my way around cars. Um, he didn't cause any actual body damage, so I was able to bring it to my detailer, right, who cleans my, uh, who details my Corvette and my DeLorean. And I said, hey, can you buff out all these scratches, the scuffs, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, there's no, he was like, yeah, man, there's no, there's no body damage. There's no body damage. And he goes, how much did insurance give you? I was like, five Gs. He's like, what? And then uh, within like an hour, he buffed out all of the damage the dude did. And, um, and I paid my detailer like 500 bucks. It was gone, right? I could have paid him less. I could have gone somebody else. But this guy is, he's really good. I like him. So uh, I gave him, I gave him, it was actually four and I gave him a $100 tip because he did it so fast, like really quick.
and uh, and yeah, and so I was like, hey, I got paid forty five hundred bucks because this dude hit my car. Not bad, right? I look at it that way. I don't go. I mean, and I didn't know how much the damage was going to be. Whatever. I just kind of lucked out on that. Um, but yeah, it was no reason to get upset. Uh, and you know, I mean, these things happen, man. Even if somebody hit my DeLorean, I would be so bummed. I would be like, oh my gosh, right? But I would just say, shit, you know. So I'll just get it fixed. But because things like this in life are going to happen, right? I mean, back in the day, I would freak out. I probably, I don't think I'd run up on the dude and try to hit him like this dude. Uh, but, but hey, you know, when you get older, you realize, okay, you know, things happen in life. It's, it's more about the way you handle these, these events that occur in your life, right? And never handle it like this dude, right? Because obviously this dude has a death wish. I mean, this guy could have just pulled out a gun and shot him, right? I mean, he has the right after this guy swung at him to just shoot this guy dead. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I would not advise doing stuff like this. This dude, obviously, again, he has, um, he has a lot of, uh, mental issues he needs to work on and he's not going to fix it by going to a therapist he needs to dive into some deep self-development man you need to jump on my channel dude and subscribe and start to learn how to control yourself better because these things are going to happen guys but uh, never do this <laughs> as always gentlemen drop your comments below let me know what you think of to tonight's uh, reaction video what do you think of this dude what would you do if you were in this situation this dude uh, took a swung a swing at you would you just pound this dude to the ground or would you uh, stay calm and just call the cops and press charges? Because now this guy's obviously the cops are going to come to his house because he's got his license plate and they're going to arrest him for battery assault. Because now this is assault and battery. Not only did he threaten him, which is assault, uh, but he tried to hit him. Right. That's battery. So uh, and he did kind of make contact with the side of his like neck over here. Just a really terrible punch. And he's going to go to jail for basically making contact with this guy. <laughs> and then now he's going to have to get a lawyer. He's going to have to get time off from work. He's not. He's going to spend all his money on legal fees. And he's not going to be able to replace his turquoise Prius with a real car. But as always, drop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you would do in this situation, how you would handle this. Drop your comments below. Always love to see you guys in my comments. Always love to read them. So please drop those comments below. As always, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out here. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm teaching you here, the best way to do that is just become a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets program. Um, my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, I should say, which I'm hosting on a private platform. There you can access all of my premium Alpha Male Secrets coaching videos for just one buck for the entire first 30 days. Just one dollar for the entire first 30 days of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So you won't be doing stuff like this dude. Okay? So, yeah, that's the best way to support my work. And all you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds, so do that now. And I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.